Hi guys, we hope you all are doing well. It's again every time here, and tonight we will discuss about new upcoming action role-playing title. Kingdom Hearts 4. Inclusive of its release date with all latest news and rumors surrounding it. Square Enix's Kingdom Hearts 3 spent almost an entire decade in development, but between January 2020's Remind DLC, the mobile prequel Dark Road, and Melody of Memory's November 2020 release, it's clear that the franchise isn't going anywhere. So what's next for everyone's favorite Disney Final Fantasy crossover? Will there be a decade-long wait for the next mainline sequel? If Kingdom Hearts 4 even happens, what will it be about? Details about Kingdom Hearts 4 are still very scarce, but the good news is fans no longer have to spend time wondering if it is ever coming. Director Tosai Nomura has acknowledged the series will continue, although no specific information was provided. Kingdom Hearts 4 won't be the next Kingdom Hearts game that Square Enix releases, but here's everything we do know about the potential main title, along with some speculation about when it might be released, and what it could entail, especially after some exciting new hints about a next-gen Kingdom Hearts 4, emerged in September 2020. With Kingdom Hearts 4's development likely well underway, we should all be asking ourselves if the long wait for its release will even be worth it. As for now, Kingdom Hearts 4 remains unconfirmed in any official capacity, but given the popularity of the franchise both within Square Enix and among the fan base, it feels inevitable. Given that it remains unannounced, it won't be released for at least several years, unless some kind of incredible surprise happens. That surprise could be imminent, however. In a September 2020 interview with Famitsu and translated by Twitter user at Atakamachi, Kingdom Hearts director Tosai Nomura offered a reminder that the series would celebrate its 20-year anniversary in 2022, and teased some kind of new project. So we'll just have to do our best for the 20th anniversary, Nomura said. I've already shifted my thinking to the next installment, and the Kingdom Hearts team is already starting on something new. Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory is a game that comes before the next installment, so the main staff was able to assist with that. It therefore seems like Nomura has started very early development on the next mainline title, and the core development team is working on something else that's unannounced. That likely means that the next main Kingdom Hearts game, whether that's Kingdom Hearts 4 or not, probably won't be released until 2023 at the earliest. We still need some time with regards to mainline Kingdom Hearts, Nomura also said in a January 2020 Twitter response, so we'll have to wait several years at least. It has been a few months since the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC Remind was released, and many gamers have likely completed Sora's journey. This means the interest regarding the development timeline of Kingdom Hearts 4 would further grow in the coming months. It appears that Nomura is aware of this, and, luckily, he does not really dodge questions about the future of the franchise. Square Enix released an exclusive Q&A called 13 Questions of Darkness, with the game director, where he indirectly addressed a question about Kingdom Hearts 4, or the plans for the series in general. It'll take some time until the next main Kingdom Hearts game Nomura said, without specifically mentioning Kingdom Hearts 4. On the bright side, Nomura hinted at having other Kingdom Hearts project to expect. Besides the Kingdom Hearts 3 development team and the Cuck development team, two other teams are currently at work, and one of these two teams' games will come out unexpectedly quick he added. Nomura, who is also popular for designing Final Fantasy characters, also mentioned some organizational changes took place within Square Enix, after the making of Kingdom Hearts 3. He revealed that it affected their timeline for a remind, and whether or not it would affect their work for Kingdom Hearts 4 is unknown. It is impossible to determine the release date window of Kingdom Hearts 4. But there is little to no chance of it being released in the next two years. Even a three-year timeline from now is hardly plausible, especially since it is unclear if the development has started already. In an interview with Ultimania from early 2019, Kingdom Hearts 3 game director Tosai Nomar said he was looking into the possibility of sandwiching Kingdom Hearts 4 between upcoming works, but that there's something that must be written before it. He was probably referring to the Remind DLC or another project he's been working on like Final Fantasy VII Remake, but we can't be sure. It's entirely possible that writing of the next major Kingdom Hearts title is already underway, but it's equally as possible that it will be stuck in some kind of development hell, just like Kingdom Hearts 3 was for years. The good news is that there will be other Kingdom Hearts games to fill that void between now and then. Melody of Memory will be released in November 2020, and will serve as a narrative intercal between Kingdom Hearts 3, and whatever comes next. Well there is no doubt in my mind that there will be at least two more side games before Kingdom Hearts 4 is even announced, there is also the concept that Kingdom Hearts 3 was a very clean, effective ending to the Zehenert saga. How can Kingdom Hearts 4 work as an interesting follow-up to Sora, Riku, and Kairi's beginnings? There isn't going to be much left to discover about these characters, as all three already saw some pretty concrete character arcs to their completion. 
In the Kingdom Hearts 3 secret trailer, we're tossed into Shibaya, as Sora and Riku wake up on a rainy night under a full moon. After I watched the secret movie, I was left thinking okay, so what? Verum Rex seems to be the name of the game here, but after committing so many hours into all of the Kingdom Hearts games, I'm slowly finding myself disenchanted with starting all over again. Yuzora already feels like a Diet Noctis, and the thought of more mech tank battles doesn't do much for me. What if Kingdom Hearts 4 ends up being amazing? See, you're assuming that we even get to see a proper Kingdom Hearts 4. A watch pot never boils, and when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts series, that pot is forever left on a low simmer. You want this amazing game? You want it within the next decade? Well, sorry, we're gonna have to give you an IOU there, says Square Enix. Then why was the gap between Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 so short? Even if the world loves Kingdom Hearts 4, I can promise you that I won't be the only super fan that majorly bowed out of the series after Kingdom Hearts 3 released. Will I still play every Kingdom Hearts game? Yeah, sure, why not? Does the series still hold the same anticipation and magic that it once did? Positively, absolutely no, it does not. That also means the gameplay play features of Kingdom Hearts 4 are not set in stone yet. But it is not far-fetched to expect Square Enix to add some new characters and settings based on Disney IPs, especially with new popular animated movie titles that came out in recent years. From Remind's secret ending, we can assume a few things about what could happen in the next game. Firstly, the Master of Masters will play a much larger role, as will the remaining members of Organization 13. The secret ending of Remind revealed that Luxord is somehow involved with the Master of Masters, an enigmatic and seemingly ancient character who may have been pulling the strings all along, making him an even bigger bad than Sahenard. Future titles will likely have some focus on Yuzor, voiced by Dylan Sprouse, a character introduced in Kingdom Hearts 3 as a fictional character within the Toy Story universe, yes that's three layers of fictional worlds. Yuzor also appears as the final boss at the very end of the Remind DLC, delivering some cryptic threats and promises to Sora in an intense battle before he wakes up in his home reality in a scene that's reminiscent of the Final Fantasy vs. 13 trailer. Many of the game's concepts and characters were repurposed in Final Fantasy 15, so all of these connections are bewildering, to say the least. This could involve some kind of ongoing crossover with the world ends with the universe as well. Sora has entered Shibaya multiple times thus far, each time he does, the viewer is shown Shibaya's 104 building, a structure located only in the world ends with Uverse. No matter which way the series goes next, bets on when Kingdom Hearts 4 will hit are somewhere in the 10 year mark. Watch every time collection for all the latest Kingdom Hearts news, including details as they're unveiled for the Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC. We'll update our channel with more information and theories about the future of Kingdom Hearts 4, as the news comes. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is now available on PS4, and will launch on Xbox One February 25. And there you have it. Everything that we know about this upcoming action-adventure title so far. Some additional info might be unveiled over the course of time, so make sure to check back as we'll be updating our channel, as soon as more information get revealed from developers and all that. So guys, that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Till then. Peace.